Hello everyone, I'm going to show you the uh, game library for Java that I'm working on. Uh, so yeah, it's very simple. It's not done yet, I'm still working on it. But this is how far I have uh, come, how far I have uh, come with this project uh, for now. So if I go and make a new project, and let's just call it a simple little game or something. Simple little game. Oops. Simple little game. Finish. And I'm gonna import the uh, the uh, game library that I'm making. And I'm calling it simple 2D game library for now. So yeah. And here we go. Now I got that. And let's just create a class and call it game. Uh, well, this this is how you use my library. You create a class and you inside of this class you do uh, game engine 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 equals new game engine and you'll have to import that and you also have to do static. And then you do uh, public public static void main string args and you basically just do engine dot start. Now the engine is, has started. So if I run this pro program, this is what you get. You'll get this frame, nothing else. So yeah. And right now I haven't add anything to customize the size of the frame. I will add that. But this is this is just the uh, in dev version, so it's not done yet. Okay, uh, let's make uh, a simple. Let's make it draw a simple player or something. So uh, you have to um, add a scene. So you need to create a scene because this uh, library uses scenes. So uh, let's do um, a test scene, and you need to extend scene, and you're gonna import scene from the simple 2D game library and we could just do for now a public test scene because we're going to use this instructor soon uh, and now uh, let's create an, uh, an object that is going to be drawn in the scene so let's create an object called test object and this is basically a game object and it's going to extend instance because instance is uh, is what the what what it uses to draw stuff in. yeah so you're gonna add this instructor and now here we can change what sprite this instance should use uh, I have a couple of sprites here that I'm gonna use so uh, let's create a new folder here uh, called images let's drag in these sprites into that and there okay now we got these uh, sprites here so let's do this dot set sprite images slash one dot png and this thing actually supports animations so what you can do is public void tick Every instance has this function tick, which is which make the instance updated each and every frame in the game. So uh, inside of the tick uh, method, you can have something like x plus equals one, and then the object will move to the right. So uh, let's do uh, if sprite uh, sprite dot uh, images dot size is no wait it's for sprite dot sprite index is less than sprite dot images dot size um, I and uh, then we do 
uh, sprite dot next. So this will make it go to the next in. Is that we do sprite dot images dot add image loader. Image loader is a class in my uh, library. So let's do images slash two dot png. And we have two more, so we're just gonna copy this. Three and four. Great. So now in our test scene, we can instantiate this object. So we do this dot instantiate new uh, test object. And now it wants some coordinates, so we're just gonna go, go with 120, 120. And inside the game, if we start this, uh, nothing will happen. It will be the same as before. Just a frame. We need to do, uh, because it won't actually start until it has a scene. So what you want to do is that you go engine dot insert scene new test scene. There we go. Now we should see some action here. There we go. We have our character here. Uh, it's not moving for some reason. Uh, the animation. Uh, let's go and check that out. Uh, test object. If sprite dot sprite index is less than oh we need to do this I think uh, sprite dot next I'm not sure I really is I'm not sure let's just do uh, sprite dot sprite index plus equals one it worked before I'm not sure why it does this now. Well, yeah, I need to fix that, but uh, yeah, we could do something like this, x++, plus plus, and it should be moving to the right. There you go. I haven't had uh, key inputs yet, but I am working on that, so uh, let's just see why. If sprite... Uh, sprite index is less than sprite dot images dot size um, let's remove that for a second I just want to see what happens uh, okay maybe these are all the same this is the one nope it's not the same uh, what if I go and remove these ones just have one. Oh, I know what the problem is. Sorry, sorry, guys. Uh, we need to do uh, else sprite dot sprite index equals zero. And here we can actually just have sprite dot next. Now we should see an animation here. Yeah, it's it's a really fast animation right now. Uh, I'm not sure if you can slow it down. It's by not by index plus equals. I'm not sure if this will work. Probably won't. No. Uh, yeah, I'm. I'm gonna work on having it possible to have slower animations. But yeah. Uh, what happened? It's a real fast animation. Um, in this tick uh, function, you can basically basically do whatever you want. So, and it also have uh, some other functions. Like if you go uh, <laughs> game dot engine dot uh, get current scene dot uh, destroy, and you can destroy instances. So this will destroy this instance instance uh, change echoes to state using game engine. sure uh, there we go so this will destroy this object and well, so we won't see that and uh, yeah I'm gonna list 
all the functions that is available in my library. Uh, but there is a couple, so oh yeah, you you don't have to do you don't have to do game dot engine. Uh, you can just do game engine dot uh, get get current scene. Uh, go to next scene, and you cannot go to next scene if there isn't a next scene. So it will it will, it will throw an arrow here because you're on the last scene, so. But if you make another scene uh, in here, let's say uh, we insert another test scene, you will be able to go to the next scene, so. Um, yeah. Uh, let's do uh, x plus plus. Uh, if x is uh, less larger than game engine engine dot render size dot with minus 64 go to next scene oops game engine dot go to next scene so this will take you to the next scene when the character has uh, passed here somewhere it will go to the next scene I think, yeah, we went to the next scene, and the scene looked exactly the same as the one before, so, yeah. Uh, yeah, this is my game library that I'm working on. Um, I'm actually doing great with it, so, thanks for watching.